Hi, this is Sergey from AWS. Today we're going to talk about migrations. Before discussing migration, it is very important to understand where your customers are in the cloud adoption process. Cloud transformation is a journey that takes time and patience, but we definitely see a pattern how customers adopt our services. This pattern follows an S-curve through four stages. We typically refer to this project, hybrid, scaling, and cloud first. In the first project stage, customer is just trying to understand how the cloud works and where it may be used in their business. Typically, customer is trying to get a few individual cloud-enabled projects going and is not looking for a complete business transformation. So we advise being cautious at this stage. You need to be particularly careful about trying to oversell in conservative organizations with risk-averse leadership. Projects at this stage tend to be driven by individual business units, and you'll find that there are few people in the organization with the skills to implement these projects. Here you need to work hard to identify and develop an AWS champion and find a project that's important enough to get him or her noticed. The key here is to demonstrate success through technical expertise. The solutions factory we'll talk about a bit later we hope will be another useful tool you can use to help your customers at this early stage. As customer starts to prove out the value of individual projects, they'll eventually need to connect the existing internal infrastructure to the cloud. When this happens, we think that they have advanced to the hybrid stage. If your relationship at this point was primarily with individual business units, this is when you'll likely need to start working on the central IT. If you're going to need to help central IT to understand how they can achieve the security governance and control that they're used to now in the cloud, and I'm sure, as some of you have experienced, you may run into a healthy amount of skepticism from individuals who are fearful that their skills will become obsolete and the jobs will be gone. Here you can assure them that based on our extensive experience working with companies through all stages of cloud adoption, those that are transformed to the cloud in most cases need even more IT help because the businesses expand and they're able to achieve even more capabilities faster at a lower cost than their older residents could ever allow. At hybrid stage, you should start working with the customer on setting up the cloud center of excellence in the organization. The customer's cloud center of excellence needs to become responsible for implementing the cloud's best practices throughout the organization. The center of excellence will help organizations evolve so they can take advantage of the most that the cloud can offer over time. In a third scaling stage, the customer is all about preparing for large-scale cloud adoption. Here, it's your responsibility to help the customer center of excellence establish sustainable governance and security models that apply to all types of different workloads, which may include needing to meet some industry-specific regulatory requirements or dealing with legacy infrastructures that can be decades old. During the scaling stage, in addition to scaling cloud adoption, you'll also want to find ways to scale training throughout the organization. Here, we recommend two approaches. Get as many people in the organization as possible to participate in AWS training certification programs that tailor to their roles, like AWS DevOps or CSOPS uh, administrator certifications. Second, work with the customer center of excellence to institutionalize organization-specific training to help them scale best practices and governance models that are unique to their business throughout their organization. At this point, you should have also established regular cadence with company's executive team making sure that they know that we're here to support them and we're going to do everything we can to help them make personally successful. Any of the executives who have led their companies to this stage feel like they've taken substantial career risk. We need to reward and acknowledge that and support them in any way we can. By this point, the customer should be convinced enough of many benefits of the cloud and they should start building a business case to begin migrating some of the existing data centers to AWS. In your path, you'll likely rarely run into customers who made their way to the final cloud first stage. These customers have well-established cloud operating model and have probably pulled off several data center migrations. These customers still need a lot of help from us because they're exploring new business opportunities that otherwise wouldn't be possible without the cloud. In particular, at this stage, customers are looking to get help optimizing and maintaining their cloud footprint. AWS team can help a lot here. We provide many good resources, such as well-architected framework and security best practices, and we're constantly working on releasing new materials and workshops. We recommend checking out the APN portal to find latest materials and stay up to date. That's it. We've learned about four stages of cloud adoption, 
In the next video, we'll explore migration model and dive deeper into some of the migration-related tools and best practices and give you a good understanding of important elements of successful migrations. Thank you for watching.